gut tendonitis, bursitis, arthritis. Did you know that itis simply means inflammation? So if you have itis anything, sinusitis, it's all about inflammation. And in order to get rid of that inflammation, it's gonna take a very aggressive approach, if you've had it for a little while, to shut it down. One, you're gonna to have to attack diet. And believe it or not, getting rid of this stuff, belly fat, by drinking a protein shake helps flip the switch to off. So if you're overweight, get back on the wagon, get rid of those LBs, get back to your goal weight. Second, nutritionally speaking, you're never gonna be able to out eat pain. That's where nutritional supplements come in, the right one. So if you've got itis and you have a pain gauge from one to 10, 10 being really bad, attack it with everything you have. One, pump recovery agent. I know that nine tablets are a lot, but what you don't understand, the level of turmeric and other ingredients that are in here, there is so much that we couldn't get it into. The pill would be the size of a Volkswagen. So it's into nine. Pump nine, you could take them all at once, or you could take them three, three times a day like my father-in-law does. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is take omega-3s. If you're taking a store-bought brand, stop. It might have heavy metals, and that's why it's not relieving your pain, but a really good pharmaceutical grade omega-3 can shut off pain. And when you mix these two together, it works better than a leave. Test me. And better than CBD. And then in between, what I do, I take the collagen, full disclosure for hair, but I don't really count it toward my joint pain because these two are the heavy hitters that reduce pain. Try that. In between, you can do this to keep your body nourished and hydrated. Let me know how you do. Cheers.